Hi, my name is Dan with DroneBlog.com. Today's video will briefly go over how to use ActiveTrack on the Mini 3 Pro. Now for those unaware, ActiveTrack enables certain DJI drones, like the Mini 3 Pro, to autonomously follow and record a subject of your choosing, whether yourself or a vehicle, thus freeing up your hands. Before activating ActiveTrack, here are a few good things to know. If you target a person, the DJI Mini 3 will follow the target at a minimum distance of 13 feet and a height of 6.5 feet, and at a maximum distance and height of 65 feet. If you target a vehicle, the range expands. The DJI Mini 3 Pro will follow a car at a minimum distance and height of 20 feet, and a maximum distance of 328 feet. Now for the first step, if you want to target a moving person or vehicle, you need to enable subject scanning first. To do so, simply go into the menu, then into the control tab. You should see the subject scanning option near the top. Enable subject scanning. Now for the next step, Hover the Mini 3 Pro at a minimum height of about 6.5 feet from the ground. This height guarantees the camera is positioned so as to have good visibility for any target. Now, go to the camera view on your DJI RC or smartphone and draw a square around the person or vehicle you want as a target. Now, as you select the target, three options appear on the lower side of the screen. Active Track, Spotlight, Point of Interest. The default mode will always be Spotlight, so you need to press Active Track. Then a green Go button pops up. Press the Go button, and now your Mini 3 Pro is in Active Track mode. Now, here's something to note don't forget to tap the Record button once you activate Active Track. The active track function is divided into two modes that you can toggle while it's active. The first mode is trace mode. When you use the active track in trace mode, your drone will follow an object or a person from behind, front, or even from the top. You just select the object on the RC or mobile device screen. Then, adjust the height and distance from the target. The Mini 3 Pro will follow the target at a constant speed of less than or up to 10 meters per second. Now the next option is parallel mode. When in parallel mode, the Mini 3 Pro will follow the object or person from the side. Now caution is needed when in this active track mode as while this mode allows you to shoot wide side angles, there are no side sensors on the Mini 3 Pro, thus opening the possibility of crashing into obstacles on either side. Now when in parallel mode, the Mini 3 Pro will follow you at a constant speed equal to or less than 13 meters per second. Well that's all for this video. If you find these types of video tutorials helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.